Hi, I'm Maria from the Drug Education Network. We provide information for everyone to reduce harm from drug use. All drugs, including medicines, can cause a number of different effects. In the workplace, this can have an impact on work performance or increase the chance of workplace accidents or injuries. So today I'm going to talk about drugs and how to stay safe at work. Drugs come in different forms. For example, alcohol, medicines and tobacco. These are legal drugs. And cannabis and amphetamines, including crystal meth and ecstasy, these are illegal drugs. Drugs work in different ways. Stimulant drugs, such as amphetamines, stimulate the central nervous system. They increase activity in the brain, as well as heart rate, blood pressure and body temperature. This causes increased alertness, decreased fatigue and prolonged physical activity. Stimulants can also improve mood and increase self-confidence. For these reasons, stimulants are also referred to as uppers. What about depressants? The root of the word is depress. This doesn't mean to feel sad or down, but it means to reduce your level of activity. Depressants slow down the central nervous system. By decreasing the electrical activity in the brain, they produce a calming effect in the body and slow down the brain's normal functioning. They can decrease your level of awareness, lower your heart rate and slow breathing. For these reasons, depressants are also referred to as downers. This is why people can feel relaxed after a few drinks and why some people pass out after a night of heavy drinking. While depressants can be used safely, they are dangerous if used incorrectly and many are available only by prescription or even illegal. Taken in larger doses, there can be complete loss of consciousness, loss of senses, slurred speech, respiratory depression and even death. Alcohol is a depressant drug, and if it is still in your system when at work, this can slow your reaction time and increase the risk of being injured. It's worth checking if a workplace has a zero tolerance policy. This means that no alcohol or drugs should be found in the bloodstream when at work. This policy is more common where employees are driving vehicles or using machinery or equipment. Its purpose is to reduce risk of injury and accidents for staff. If this policy is in place, it's a good idea to know how long it will take for alcohol to be cleared from the bloodstream before arriving at work. For most people, it takes about one hour for one standard drink to be processed in the liver of a healthy adult. So if a person has started drinking at 10pm and has drunk 10 standard drinks, their body will still be feeling the effects of alcohol around 10 hours later, in this case at 8am the next day. Why is it useful to know about standard drinks? It's a helpful way of keeping track of alcohol consumption. And what is a standard drink? It is any drink that contains 10 gram of alcohol, which is the same as 100 ml of wine, 285 ml of full strength beer, or 30 ml of spirits. This information is always listed on bottles and cans. You can also check the DEN's Rough Guide to Alcohol. It helps keep track of a wide variety of different alcoholic drinks. This resource is available by visiting and ordering at the DEN website, www.den.org.au slash resources. Have you heard of recommended drinking guidelines? Drinking no more than two standard drinks on any day reduces your risk of harm from alcohol-related disease or injury over a lifetime. And drinking no more than four standard drinks on a single occasion reduces the risk of alcohol-related injury. And if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, the safest option is not to drink any alcohol. And did you know that we process alcohol and drugs at different rates? There are different factors that can change how our bodies are affected by alcohol, such as general health, and if other drugs are being taken at the same time. There are also differences between men and women. Say we have two people who have been drinking alcohol. The man weighs 85 kilos and the woman weighs 60 kilos. They may drink the same number of standard drinks, but because the woman weighs less, and also because liver size is generally smaller in women, she will take longer to process the same amount of alcohol. So she may still be intoxicated or affected by the alcohol for a longer period of time. Older people can also find that they take longer to process drugs and can be more affected than younger people. So what about other drugs and their effect on people when in the workplace? Medicines that are prescribed by a doctor or purchased from a chemist can sometimes have side effects. They can slow people down or cause drowsiness. 
Other side effects can happen if drinking alcohol at the same time, such as dizziness, liver problems and stomach problems. If unsure, check with your doctor or chemist. Cannabis, also known as dope or weed, is an illegal drug that can have a depressant and hallucinogenic effect. Effects on the body can vary for different people. It may cause slower reaction time, poor coordination and changes to perception or how you see things. This can make people three times more likely to have a crash or an accident. As the effects of this drug can be felt for a number of hours for some people, this can increase the risk of accidents and injuries in the workplace. Stimulant drugs including amphetamines, such as speed or ecstasy, and methamphetamines, such as crystal meth or ice, speed up the nervous system. This causes symptoms of restlessness, anxiety, rapid heartbeat, confusion and chest pain. After continued use, there is an increased risk of more serious health problems, including depression, heart problems and sleep problems. If the effects are too hard to manage, it can lead to anxiety, stress and other problems at work. When people recognise that drug use, legal or illegal, can be having a harmful effect on their health, it can be helpful to get support. Talking with a doctor can be a good place to start. There is also the Alcohol and Drug Service, which provides counselling and treatment services around the state. The free number to call is 1300 139 641. Keeping safe and healthy at work is something that everyone can take responsibility for. Having an understanding of how drugs and medications affect us is one way we can do this. And if you are interested in finding out more information or want to order any other resources, visit the Drug Education Network website. Visit the Drug Education Network website by searching DEN.